hello everyone in this video let us learn about how to solve this question so we have x raised to power x is equal to x raised to power 2 and here how to solve for the value of x so x is the unknown what to solve for now to do so solution so we have x raised to power x is equal to x raised to power 2 now by mere inspection you all conclude that by applying this rule a raised to power b equals a raised to power c since the bases are the same compare the exponent b is equal to c now in this case we can all conclude that the value of x is equal to 2 by comparing the exponent yes quite all right this is one of the solutions for the value of x there are other solutions for the value of x so let us look at it now we are going to use two methods to solve for the value of x right here so two methods okay two method now for the first method we are going to introduce natural logarithm to both sides of the equation so lean x raised to power x is equal to lean x raised to power 2 and by applying this rule of logarithm that if you have logarithm of a raised to power b is equals b times logarithm of a applying this rule right here and here also by power x then becomes x times lean x is equal to power 2 becomes 2 times lean x now from here divide both sides by lean x over lean x this divide this this divide this the value of x that you have x is equal to 2 and this was the initial value of x that we got so the second method second method is that we have x raised to power x equals x raised to power 2 so we are going to first of all divide both sides by x raised to power 2 over x raised to power 2 now if we do so we have this this we divide this we have 1 so x raised to power x over x raised to power 2 is equal to 1 and by applying this rule of indices that if you have a raised to power b over a raised to power c this equals a raised to power b minus c applying this rule right here we have this we have x raised to power x minus 2 is equal to 1 then with this we can then apply natural logarithm to both sides of the equation so we have lean x raised to power x minus 2 is equal to lean 1 and also applying this rule of logarithm if you have logarithm of a raised to power b this equals b times logarithm of a applying this rule right here so power x minus 2 comes over to this side it becomes x minus 2 multiplied by lean x is equal to lean 1 now from here the value of lean 1 is equal to 0 so this becomes 0 so what we then have is this we have in bracket x minus 2 multiplied by lean x is equal to 0 now at this junction we can equate this to 0 or equate this to 0 so for the first one x minus 2 equals 0 or second one lean x is equal to 0 now let us solve for this first linear equation so we have x minus 2 which equals 0 move minus 2 over to this side the value of x is then equal to 0 plus 2 and x is equal to 2 and this was the first value of x that we got by a mere inspection so for the other equation lean x equals to 0 lean x equals 0 so first to solve for x we need to remove this lean from here and to do so introduce e so e raised to power lean x is equal to e raised to power 0 from here if we cancel lean the value of x is equal to e raised to power 0 and with this x is equal to e raised to power 0 is 1 okay so we have gotten the value of x so x equal to 2 and x equal to 1 so let us then check whether these two solutions are the correct solution for the value of x so let us check right here let's check the question which is x raised to power x equals x raised to power 2 and we got the first value of x which equals 2 
the second value of x is equal to 1. So with this, let us try the first value of x, which equals 2. So x is 2 raised to power x is 2, which equals x is 2 raised to power 2. 2 power of 2 is 4, which equals 2 power of 2 is 4. And looking at it, we have the same thing on the left hand side and also on the right hand side. So this means that the value of x for 2 is the correct solution. Now what of the second value of x? Is it also the correct solution? Let's confirm that. So for x as 1, we have 1 raised to power x is 1 equals x is 1 raised to power 2. Now 1 raised to power 1 is equal to 1 which equals 1 raised to power 2 is still 1 because 1 squared is equal to 1 times 1 and that will give you 1. So with this we have 1 equals 1. So this means that the value of x as 2 is the correct solution for the value of x. So with this we've confirmed that the two solutions are the correct solution. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.